Hey folks, how y'all doing today? Doing a video on doing uh, ventilation, ventilation fans from my, my solar power shop. I've uh, been doing it for a while now, but I just did some more improvements so I have cross ventilation in my shop. Anyway, let's start taking a look at it. Alright, good to see y'all again. It's been a while. <laughs> Alright, here we go, y'all. Anyway, this is my upper vent. The, the, uh, to suck the hot air out. And here's my lower vent. I just use, I think, um, 8 by 16 louvers, like Eve vents. And that aluminum, now you stainless steel screws. Do a good job. But I need a cross ventilation in the shop. Um, in the pot solar shop. Cause it gets hot in there. One for cold air. Down low. I could have went lower, but I don't want rain. Well, I just didn't want to go too much lower. I could have. But anyway, there you go. I'll show you what it consists of. And this runs on 100% solar. This runs on all solar. And these are Vantec stealth fans. They're real quiet. Can't hardly hear them run, but here's how I got everything cut open. Um, down here, oh, I'll get a little butter right here. Y'all can see this little butter. So I got plenty of air coming through, and I got my, my fans, and they're like, uh, they're about, I burn all the any amps at all, like 0 .008 amps, 0, 0 0.08 amps. Yeah, they're quiet. And there's a bottom one, and that blows. I blow the cold air in from outside, and it helps cross ventilation. But anyway, I just I'll show you all that. And I use a hole saw. A five-inch hole saw for this 120, 120 millimeter fan, computer fans. They're DC, and I got them wired up with a switch, a snap switch in there where they connect together. I may on a female plug, and then I solder my wires and bottom them up, bottom them up together. And it came into one right here. And then it gave me a little piece of uh, black rigid uh, plastic to help protect the wires. Then I come out to my other one. And I might put a thermostat on this when it gets too hot in here. I come off. But running my, running my inverter, it's always about it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm still producing. 1400 watts of power. Fourteen hundred watts. Selling back thousand watts. We're going back to the house, thousand watts. Putting out one thousand four hundred and ten watts right now. At ten point ten point three kilowatt hours a day. Or ten thousand three hundred watt hours. Day. She is booming. She's kicking booty. But anyway, I need some cross ventilation in here. See, because I, uh, you know, right now, I mean, I got this window right here, this window, and I got this window right here with some more ventilation fans. Just kind of keep the place cool. Because it's about like here's the difference right here. Whoops. Here's the difference right here. I'll show you. It's 68.6 out there right now. But it's 80 degrees in here. So you can always guarantee it's going to be 20 degrees warmer in this shop. Uh, at least 20 degrees warmer in the shop when the inverter's going. And, and here's, I got. Start off the monitor with a little temperature probe right here. 94.6 degrees. And the fan is blowing. Trying to get that cool that inverter down. But I'm, I'm, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. I'm moving too quick. But here's the fans. 
and I got Vantec Vantec case fans see, I took 80% quad in the standard case fans double bob bearings fans for extending life band with sensor to monitor, monitor speed anyway power off lifetime warranty they are like 12 bucks I got them from the cooler, the cooler guys they called them on the internet and they're nice and here's a uh, let's get some more light over here uh power in point point nine six watts I don't yeah point nine six watts fan speed fifteen hundred rpms airflow fifty three cubic feet per minute and noise twenty eight decibels so that's that's nothing. You can't can even hear them run. And there's 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter, or 4.72 by 0.98 inches. Now listen to this. The computer fan just came on, on my Lex Max. You not hear that? It just came on. And this one just came on <laughs> simultaneously. Yeah, that was good. That was quick thinking. But they come on every so often when the temperature kicks in. This is a 700 watt panel. And this is the uh, 1610. And this is May, y'all. May the 14th. decent power but anyway yeah they're not, they're not loud at all over here over this one man it's fucking what happens is this hose right here sucks the air into here pulls down the hole out back and then comes up the top up the top right here. Sucks the air through here. Intake must it runs through the outback and comes up the top. Nice design. But anyway, I know I'm going to here everywhere. But here we go. I plugged the fans in, and I ran another 12 volt plug right here. Ran another 12 volt plug that comes off my small off grid system. That's what I operate all my fans with. So, plug this bad boy in here. Plug it in. Alright, y'all see that? Yeah, here we go. Voila. We got air. Sucking the hot air out. And it's blowing the cold air in. Yeah, I like that. I just thought I'd pass that one by you. Uh, and these are the hard speed fans right here. But these are loud. These are, these are really loud. One second here. Um, now listen how loud these are. Those are Fantech tornadoes. They, they kick. <laughs> they blow a lot of hot air. They blow a lot of cool air, excuse me. If I can turn them around and have them going either way. Yeah, well that's just a quick update. I want to show you what, what I've been doing. So we're going to end up building too. And these are very helpful. You know. So anyway, and when I open the door up, when I open when I open the door, there's my cord, and it doesn't get caught into the doesn't get caught. 
on anything. Just like that. There we go. And they're, and they're running off completely off solar. Yeah. You can hear them. Barely. Yeah, they're quiet. Plus they put out a lot of cooling benefits. Yeah. And I'll show you. I'm getting ready to paint these green. The sink holes my door. So you won't notice them. Put that little bit in the winter time. Hey, if I don't need it, I'll just put a little pack a little insulation around around them in the winter time. But anyway, all right. And you know, I'll show you how much power to draw. Not drawing hardly anything. On this morning star pro star 15. Right now. Right, let me see if I can zoom in on that. Load amps. Okay, solar solar right now is thirteen point four, and solar amps it's not it's not drawing any power. Them little fans aren't, so that's great. Super, and that's one hundred thirty five watts of solar on that little little off grid solar system. I run all my solar fans and stuff with it too. All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna cut this video. Well, hey, thanks for watching, y'all. It's been a pleasure, and y'all, y'all, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all again soon. And thanks for watching. I'll be making more videos soon. All right, y'all, take it easy now. Uh, all right, bye bye.